Hello, welcome to Science TV Uganda, your sign language TV channel. Today on the discussion of health matters, are you aware that when you abuse someone a word, they develop a mental health? For, we have a guest from DefNet, an organization that deals with mental health, and they help people to overcome mental health. And that is our special guest today. My name is Hindu. Follow me and let's have a discussion with our guest. Our special guest is already here. Please introduce yourself. Thank you very much for inviting me in this is Sign TV. My name is Deborah Iote. I am from DevNet Center for Knowledge. Specifically, this organization focuses on deaf people in Africa, especially in the area of mental health and also general development for deaf people in Africa. Thank you so much. That is really nice. Nice to meet you. Can you please explain to us the experience that you had, experience that you had specifically to deaf persons? What are those things that you need to do? Surely, the, the, this topic saying mental health, it has been a long term thing, thinking that it's not very important and thinking that it doesn't affect the deaf. But we have seen it has affected the lives of deaf people. Like, for example, in England, there is this research that says 40% of deaf children have mental health compared to 25% of hearing children. What does this mean? It means that deaf children don't have support. So when they grow up, they, always, they are always affected this, with the mental health. But also in adults, it can be a cause of mental health. But the challenge we have here in Uganda, we don't have a real research. We use experiences from different communities, like, for example, one step in what we want to get to know in the, at the family level, we want to focus on encouraging parents that when they give birth to these children, they should help these children in the area of communication with these children so that we know how we also, and also link them to deaf associations that they may give experience and share the information and with other countries which can support the members. Otherwise, we are focusing on this and we are working with the different countries. Me personally, I give an example many times. When the deaf people get a challenge or when they deaf, they, they, they need support. What support do they need? They need counseling. Some, some deaf people have even joined the homosexuality, but the families ask me to guide, to advise the importance of good health. For example, the relationship in the family, husband and a wife, sometimes there are some challenges that come up, but we help them to counsel them, and they come up down together and they bring the help. Wow, wow, that was that is really wonderful from classroom, home, all that. That is really so. In your work, when you're working, mental health counseling, relating with counseling and mental health, where is your responsibility as Deborah? Thank you very much. We as at DevNet, we work professionally. Me what in mental health, you cannot just get any how, but you need to have skills in that area of identifying the problem, link with the work of that person. It always needs experience in the research. Most of these people are doctors, professors, who are experienced in the research. Like, uh, they have workshops it may be in different countries that come together they present the doctors present and we share up the experiences of mental health and deaf issues so that's how we've been working and what we believe is we always to share out the info the knowledge when people get knowledge it's easier to support the members the deaf members so we also work majorly in our experiences in schools, 
you know very well the deaf children, the first step where is it? It's in education. So the, how is this approach being taken? So we make out some methodologies for how to communicate with these children, how they learn, to develop their mental abilities so that when they grow up, they can manage the situations. That's how we work in definite. Another thing is to support directly the deaf associations to help them work with their members in the area of mental health and encouraging how to push on. Thank you so much for that explanation. So you know, mental health is a problem and it's generally affecting all people. In deaf persons, how can we help them? How can we help them? Because you have seen them, mental health, the person themselves, after. how do we know that this person has mental health? You know, mental health is general. The hearing, the deaf, persons with disabilities can also get these mental challenges. You know, life challenges, challenges in life, there is the depression, where things are stressing, things are gone. Now you start thinking alone and alone, and the life becomes a hard. There's nobody to support you. There's no information. There's no communication. In the family, you are isolated, you are alone. Other members are speaking, but for you, you are alone. Other people are laughing, but you don't know why are they laughing. Are they backbiting me? So you start thinking, and you become so stressed, and you become alone, alone. Then also, it linkets with, there's also that link that there is no friend. That if you don't have a friend, you will all, you have to get a friend who will help you always to come up and cheer up. But many times the parents are eh, complain that yes, children want to want to move. These children want to move. Deaf people love moving, but no, the problem could be at home. First of all, solve the problem at home. You what you by first learning sign language. This will help this deaf person to stay at home. And also maybe on TV, there should be an inter interpreter. In any or activity, be an interpreter. But if the deaf find that there is no interpreter or there is no person who knows the language, they will just say, ah, let me move, let me continue working. So like for example, holidays, many times, people you see how are deaf why are deaf children very many home. motivated to go back to school because they feel at home there's a gap my needs are never catered for but at school i have the good environment the teachers are good in sign language yes, they know sign that language. is the point i'm meaning that is the mental health it just is the mental health in the communication they feel so sad when they go to the village that and children don't know sign language. Can you imagine how is the health, how is the future of these children? This is a gap. We need to solve this problem. And also another thing is the fear, anxiety, fear, fear. Because of poverty. Poverty, no food, children, they, how are they going to live? How are they how am I going to pay? house rent at the end of the month the landlady or landlord is coming so at the end of it person gets stressed also another thing is gbv if you see the at the family family level our people are not happy you see one person going quietly is not with the other people please notify that person or identify that there should be a problem with that person. If this deaf person is in isolation alone, alone, you try, try as a deaf, ask what is the problem? It will help you to understand the situation of this person. Many times, that's how we get this science of these people who that are That is true, and I hope parents, you really can, parents can learn sign language. They can help the children not to feel alone and neglected. Because when they feel alone, they cannot communicate with their friends, they cannot communicate with you. It feels so, so bad. So now, I know that mental health is, is there. How do we know exactly that? Because remember, they are using sign language. How do we know that these people really can, can, can they have uh, mental health? It's not a hard general issue. The first thing is isolation. 
the first sign is when somebody is isolated then another person starts talking alone alone the deaf person person is deaf but you see a person talking alone alone uh, yes, I moving alone. moving ah, yeah, come on. Ah, there's a problem that one eh? you should you should get to know more about this person and then another side is if this person all the time gets so pissed up so pissed up okay. you know this i've been knowing this person as a calm person but this time he has changed to be pissed up all the time short temper short temper then also another thing if it's a wife at home right now the woman is happy then within a short time she has changed she's sad doesn't want to talk, you should also get to know what is the reason. So may, these are some of the warning signs of neglect. But if we neglect, neglect, neglect these signs, slowly, slowly, we shall lose such a person. So we want to see that we need to identify these signs before it's worse. And I hope that we are viewing all this and we are seeing all this. Please, friends, try and, and learn sign language. So, 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 that, so that we can improve the situations of different persons. So how can we support ourselves to see that we can, or we can, how can we support this person who has got mental health? Supporting these people is not hard. But one thing we want to say at the family level, it is called, we have a challenge of communication. Then again, when we come to school, also we have a communication challenge. When we move to the society to get services, like for the for the example, mental health, we there are no professional people who can support men us in mental health and the deaf area. So we need to get to know ways on how best to get up these people and make give them referrals to identify these people that if we have gotten a problem that can we move with this person to hospital? Yes, in Mulago we have mental health in Mulago. You can go with this person to the professional person or consultant who can support or guide this person. They can be talking. This person can ask, hey, how are you? What is the problem? So they will probe, they will probe this person to talk out. Then after this person has opened up to talk, to talk, they will get to know the ways on how to support such a person. Maybe by counseling, by saying, don't you worry. Even if this, right now you don't have money, but you can get to work. Huh? 